this is Jason Donnelly reporting for GearWire.com. We're at the NAMM Show 2010, and I'm here at Newmark with Chris Roman, DJ Chris Roman. Chris, what is next? Uh, next thing we'd like to talk about is the NDX 800, which we're also introducing here at NAMM 2010. The NDX 800 is our first tabletop CD player that's of the large format size. Uh, and it gives you an eight inch wheel to work with. It's a touch sensitive wheel. And just like any other touch sensitive wheel, when you grab it, music stops, you scratch with it. It's got a great feel to it. Uh, we have the light ring around the outside, which will basically show you the track position as you're moving along. Uh, it plays back from CD, from MP3 CD, and of course from thumb drives, which we've been doing for years. Uh, the things that you can do with any one of those media sources uh, are things like looping. Uh, you have a full complement of effects control with a wet dry fader to go along with it. You have your pitch percent, uh, pitch control for up to up to 100%, along with key lock, along with um, the ability to pitch bend from buttons or from the wheel itself. The outer wheel, of course, is able to do the pitch bending, and the inner wheel is able to do the scratching. Uh, you have your stuttering on the play, so I can go re-trigger the start of a track. Uh, you have your ability to adjust start and stop times over here. And you do have a lot of programmable features inside the unit, such as storing cue points um, and a lot of other personal preferences. Now, if that's not enough, this is also a software controller. As you know, we've been doing software controllers for many years now. Uh, and the functionality of software control shows up in this, this media player as well. So you play back from thumb drive, you play back from your CD, or you can play back from software. On our website, you'll find downloads for things like uh, TSI files for Traktor uh, that allow you to seamlessly integrate this with, say, Traktor Pro. And again, manage all your songs, scratch your songs, and do everything directly from the deck surface, uh, which is really the way it should be. And then you just drop your mixer in the middle that you like, hook in a sound card that you want to use, and away you go. Now, does this use, uh, does this need the time-coded CD to operate the software, or is there no, something built in? It doesn't. That's, that's a great question. Um, the advantage of software controllers, when they're actually integrated well with the software that goes along with them, is that you don't need time code anymore. Uh, that's always been the case with any of our, any of our control surface that are, surfaces that are integrated with, with uh, software. Uh, you don't actually need time code anymore. You can do everything from here, uh, whether it be a NS7 or a... Uh, V7, in that particular case, we're sending MIDI at twice the speed of normal MIDI, and we're sending all the platter commands as they're coming out. Um, in these controllers, it sends the changes in the commands as they're going out, uh, so it controls the software that way. Very cool. Well, that looks impressive, as usual. Uh, thanks, Chris. And this is Jason Natalie with GearWire.com and Newmark.